how to add customer account login icon in Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about adding our customer account login in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And it's gonna be absolutely out of this world. It's gonna be really easy. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole detailed and in-depth analysis. So if you have any other questions or video requests, make sure to drop them in the comments below so I can, you know, obviously make them for you and start working on them. So basically in this video, again, I will show you how to add the customer login icon and in your Shopify store. And I will show you on how to add the icon on the header as well as adding it on the notification bar because lately or just yesterday, I think, uh one of uh, my own followers or subscribers requested to add it on the notification bar unfortunately that's not possible i mean it is but it's really complicated to find a trick that will work for every shopify team because every shopify team uses a different coding for the notification bar unlike other sections on the shopify store so finding a trick to add the button on the notification bar is really tricky however in this video as i said i will show you how to compare completely transform the notification bar into a button and an actual button through the customer can easily click on and it will take you to the register and now the login or through register a new account on your shopify store and you can actually change that to the login you can just copy change the link and i will show you how to do that so no worries in this video again we're gonna uh, show you how to add the customer login icon on the header of your Shopify store as well as adding it on the notification bar. And as I said, this is actually a request by a lot of people uh, watching the videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the workings of this. Now, to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you're going to be going ahead into your Shopify store, make sure everything is logged in, everything is good to go. And once you're going to do that, you're going to come down to the settings section over here. Now, as you come down to the settings section, it's going to open this page up. OK, and once it opens this page up for you, what you're going to do from here is you're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to go into customer accounts. Now, once you go into your customer's account, you can see accounts and online store and checkout and you can see all these things. So. You can obviously either edit it or close it. Now, if you close it, it shows show login link in the header of online store and checkout. So we're going to turn that on. Now it's going to give you these options You choose which version of customer accounts to actually use. So you can use new customer accounts, classic customer accounts, you know, whatever works with you. New customer accounts are customers that will log in with a one time code sent to their email and classic customers. Customers will log in with email and password. Now, obviously, this would be the better option so we'll go with that and finally click on save and once you click on save what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to the basic dashboard okay so once you're in your dashboard over here uh what you're going to do is you can actually click on the uh, like if i were to show you my store right now basically my header over here you know like it's not clickable it's not it doesn't have a link or anything you know pretty basic right it doesn't have a login button on it either so how are you going to add that for yourself let me show you if i were to reload this page look at that it added a login button how did it add that you know the code that i added not the code i'm sorry the setting that i changed from the settings section that's what took place it just takes a little bit of time to load so once you do that, look at this over here, it opens up a login and password page for you. So pretty incredible, right? So it's really fun to mess around with this. And once you've opened this page up, you know, this logging page that you have, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the URL of this logging page and you're going to come to your online store over here. Now, once you are in your online store, what you can do from here is you're going to go into customize okay you're going to go into customizing your online store and once you go into customizing your online store wait a second let me just uh yeah there we go now once again you go into customization of your online store you know you have this uh login button over here but you can come over to your announcement bar okay and we're going to go into the text of the announcement bar i'm going to change the announcement bar text okay 
And in the announcement bar text, I'm going to go ahead and write register here for discount. Okay, we're just going to add that, add some exclamations. And once you do that over here, you're going to paste the link. Okay, and this is the link for my Shopify login page, right? So it should start making sense what I'm trying to do over here. So if people click on this link, they're going to be taking to the login page pretty easily, pretty simply, right? So that is what we are striving to do over here. And obviously you can uh, give it different accents. You can give it different types of uh, things, different types of editorial sequences on uh, the settings. You can mess with team settings, custom cascading style sheets, uh, even this, like, let's say you want to make it blue. You can make it blue. You can make it stand out, you know, whatever you want. And once we do that, we're going to click on save. Once the changes are saved, we're going to reload this page. And as you reload the page, we're going to come here and look at that. The announcement bar has a link now. So register here for discount. Let's click on it. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, wow. It took us to the login and password page. So here, People can actually log in with your password. If they don't have one, they're going to go on create account and they can create an account over here. So how incredible, such a useful, such a nice little setting that Shopify lets us add onto the, uh, you know, basic Shopify store. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this setting. It's great for customer attraction. It's great for generating leads. And it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty incredible. So please do make sure to use things like these on your Shopify uh, because they just get a good lead generation out of your Shopify store. You gain followers, uh, gain a lot of subscribers that leads to, you know, actually making more revenue. And uh, if you have any other, you know, corresponding video ideas in your mind that you would like to see me make, please let me know those as well, because uh, all I want to do is, you know, help you people out, give you informational stuff. That will help you in your e-commerce, your store making, and a whole lot more. So yeah, just let me know and I will be making these things for you. The rest is for me to do. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later. And goodbye.